Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore an Apple TV using iTunes. In case you just want to have a fresh Apple TV when you're going to jailbreak it, or just because it's not working right. You're going to need a couple things. You're going to need the Apple TV itself. You're going to need iTunes on a working computer with a USB port, obviously. You're going to need a cable that has a mini USB adapter on it for the thing, which Apple does not supply. And your computer, obviously. I just said that, but okay. So... Uh, the first thing is plug this in into your USB port. I mean, this is obvious, you guys. I'm sure you know how to plug something into a USB port. <laughs> but, okay, so, now I'm trying to plug this in here. I'm going to have to put the iPad down for a second, I think. Yeah. Alright. I got it plugged in. And, um... You can see it's blinking, and up on iTunes, and the Apple TV is in the devices, and it's giving me the option to restore it. So you're going to click the restore button. Yes. So I already downloaded the software. You'll have to download it. You see we're extracting right now. Alright, so the Apple TV will do nothing but blink the entire time. You blink a little slower, verifying it with Apple. Verifying again. So, so as you see, the progress bar is working. It's restoring it right now. Putting new software on it. Um, it's still blinking. It should blink the entire time. Still blinking. Alright, now it's going to verify it. Just to make sure it worked right, I guess. We are still blinking it up down here. Restore an Apple TV firmware. Oh, we're still blinking. It says, your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. It says, please disconnect your Apple TV from your computer and reconnect it to your TV. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to plug it into my TV. Come over here. To my TV. Plug the power in real quick. Hold on. Alright. I don't know if you can see it, but I have it plugged in. The back. Alright. Yeah. 
Alright, so I'm turn my TV on. Get Ma hang to Danny little remote. I have no signal. Give it a second. All right. So now we're at the setup screen. If you require voiceover to use Apple TV, press the small button located on the lower right of your remote three times. Well, that's creepy. But you can go through your setup, and it'll be all ready to go again. So I hope that video helped you out, guys. See you later.